Hello there. Uh, welcome. My name is John Turner. I'm the um, Infrastructure Manager at PTFS Europe. I'm going to, uh, in the next few minutes, tell you a little bit about the um, uh, LMS hosting solution that, that we provide. The title of the talk is Technical Challenges of Supporting a Cloud LMS. Um, let's move over to the topics that um, we'll be discussing. Firstly, I'll describe the onboarding process, all the services that we can provide to you. The ad then we'll move to the advantages and disadvantages of a hosted LMS solution. And then we'll look at some of the planned enhancements for our services. One of the reasons why um, the COA um, software is uh, easy to install is that it uses the Linux um, apt package system. Right, so literally we've got just two commands to run from the command line to get you a fully functioning system up and running. Uh, Koa uses some of the stable components that are the core of the Linux distribution. So um, if there are problems found in, in those components, such as the database or the web server, it's likely that they will get fixed well before um, those issues are, are, are raised by yourselves. Um, also, to help with the simplicity of the installation is that Co has got a clear and stable release cycle. So we know exactly the problems uh, of, of, of the software because a lot of our team are working with the development of it so that we can make sure that you're given a version that's suitable for your needs and hasn't got any of the, any of the bugs uh, that can be found in early releases. Um, so what one thing we say is that uh, within a matter of minutes, we can give you a fully functioning library management system straight out of the box. So you, you'll have a, uh, a server with a DNS entry, an SL cell certificate, email delivery, which will use local authentication um, to, to, to connect to the COA server. Uh, we'll have a full backup cycle. No client software needs to be installed and we also provide upgrades to the operating system and LMS included. So we can get you very quickly up and running. Most customers won't just want the, 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 the what we call the, the, the defaults. There are one or two things that we're, we're happy to add um, so, so that you could use your own uh, URLs. Uh, if you add a, a DNS record, we could start using your, your, your URLs. Uh, also with the SSL certificates, we can we can add your SSL certificates so that uh, uh, again you can use an ac.uk um, domain name on, on all URLs. And similarly, there's um, uh, email address uh, address for notifications. We can we can use those so they appear to come from your domain. So the, the, there's some quick changes that we can make from that out of the box system into something that's a little bit more uh, configured and customized for you. So um, included on this is that uh, there's a large array of integrations that let your LMS talk to the outside world and the outside world interact with your LMS. So um, we can provide uh, ex what we call external in, um, authentication so that you can use a, a centralized server that you would have at your college. So we can use LDAP or S SAML or Open Athens or one of the variety of authenticated systems that you, you, you may have. Uh, COA works with most of them. Uh, similarly with SIP2 devices, be they self-check units, uh, entry gates, lap safe units, RFID pads, we can, we can connect those up to the COA server. And uh, even though the SIP2 traffic is not encrypted, we can provide a simple solution to make that the, the, that, that, that the case. Um, patron data feeds. So uh, instead of having to manually import uh, details for, uh, for your students and your staff, we can automate a feed from your registry system straight into the COA system, which can get updated uh, daily or even hourly, uh, make sure that your your patron data is always up to date. Um, 
mobile application integration we can use um, we can provide so COA, the COA API can be included uh, in various mobile applications um, quite a lot of the colleges have a, a college-wide um, mobile app and we, that we can include COA in that so that the students can check their um, uh, what library books they have got or what notifi library notifications um, um, work from within the app. Also, we can work with discovery service integration. So, COA integrates with the discovery service. You can either use the COA OPAC to search COA and the discovery service, or you can include the COA data in the discovery service. We, we, we work with most of the major discovery service uh, providers. Um, we also provide a Z3950 service, so you can you can, your server can act as a, a, a client so you can download uh, catalog records from servers around the world and also if if you if you do desire you can make your your catalog records a, 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 a available uh, we offer sms integration so that coa can uh, can can use sms rather than email for notifications that's popular with some of the the the, the, the students um and also electronic resource integration so we can use COA as an authentication server for ebooks and also you can upload in bulk some uh, um, the data from your ebook uh, provider we can al also offer other library functions like upload uh, interlibrary loans uploads to union catalogs and we we can upload to to to, we can create a union catalogue for you and we can uh, upload to a national bibliographic uh, knowledge base. So just so that's the um, that's the uh, onboarding uh, if we move to the advantages and disadvantages of a hosted solution um what's nice with the solution we provide i think everyone knows their responsibilities um certainly i i used to work in uh, for a company that provided lms support which was uh, just support for the software not for the hardware or the operating system and what happened is there's often uh, a, a bit of a blame game that no one was quite clear on who was responsible for what i think now uh, with the solution that we provided it's very clear is that uh, we, we look after all the technical aspects and you're left uh, just uh, running uh, the, the library management system the, the bit that you know best. Um, so some of the disadvantages that is the fear that you've lost control of your data. Uh, and certainly the term the cloud uh, does give the idea that the the, the, the data hosted in some some vague entity somewhere. Uh, all our uh, data centers are, are, are UK based and we do know precisely what um, um, where each of the servers are, are located. This makes sure that our uh, backups are secured in separate data centers and that we've got a disaster recovery plan for, uh, for, for your server if anything does go wrong. Um, on top of uh, what I've just spoken about, at, uh, at any time, PTFS will supply with a full backup of your data. Um, uh, we, we would supply that immediately uh, and that would actually be a useful backup compared to a lot of the proprietary um, library management systems because Cora is open source software so uh, any, any competent IT could, uh, technician could use that backup and verify uh, that the backup's correct or to use it to move away from the PTFS Europe support so there's no tie into our product at all. Um, so, um, yeah, as, as I said, um, what, uh, what we can do is that we are a set, a group of experts at PTFS, uh, running a library management system. I think previously you, you get IT, um, IT support staff who, uh, who are asked to look after the, um, 
IB management system, and that's not their top priority. But I, th I think I think the, the the main advantage is that you can call upon a group of experts such as our, ourselves, and uh, we concentrate on one thing and hopefully do that one thing well. So uh, to to move on to the third third, uh, third part of the, of, of the talk, we'll talk about some of the enhancements to our service. Uh, what we like to think we we do is that we like to th think we're the first to know of any problems with your system. We've got uh, currently we've we've got uh, an alerting service that the checks on your server for a variety of, of, of potential problems. So that's CPU use, memory use, um, uh, hard disk use, when your certificate, uh, SSL certificates will expire, uh, whether certain processes are running or not. Now what we, we, we want to do and, and, and carry on is to increase those checks and to increase, um, increase uh, how much functionality that those checks uh, are carried out on and that, that's some, something that, uh, that that we're going to be working on and hopefully um, though there is a very good help desk system it does mean that we, we can resolve problems before because they come apparent to yourselves and your users. Um, so the, the the other uh, the, the the next thing that we we're, we're very keen on doing is to increase the quality of the auditing change control and documentation of procedures is that we we, we realize that um with the uh, gdpr legislation and the uh, iso audits etc that are carried out is that um although this is hidden to most of the end users having uh, those controls in place it does create trust that we are being very careful with the way your your data is handled and we're looking at increasing security checks on servers and also improving best practice training for our staff so we are very much uh, taking care of your data um, because you've you've shown that trust in us, and also um, we are the, the the backup system. As we say, the part of the product does include a a, a, a backup regime. Uh, it's it does follow what we call a hosting uh, platform agnostic regime. This means that we could we we can switch hosting provider if needed. So that's it's that's good. So that we. If if we do hit a problem, we 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 can quickly move. But we're we're also starting to use um, other backup mechanisms, so we can quickly to restore your systems to a point in time, so that before upgrades, we have a a, a, a quick and efficient rollback method if there are any. Uh, if there are any problems with that uh, with that upgrade, it does reduce risks uh, to. At, at, um, with, the, with the software that we provide. So yes, um, if there are any questions, do let us know. Uh, if, uh, if you do think of anything later, we're always happy to respond and to, 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 to help you to clarify your thoughts at hosting at ptfs.com. Well, thanks very much for your time. Um, hopefully, uh, you, you, you'll be in touch in, in, in one way or another in the next uh, in, the, in the next few months or so. And uh, thank you very much.